How y'all doing today? Oh yeah. It's a hot one out there. And reports say it's gonna be close to 115 today. Nothing like a good old hot Texas day. Now, uh, y'all don't look like you're from around here. Y'all look like city folk to me. <laughs> what you doing way out here? Hmm. Seeing to some family business. Oh, that's good. Sweetheart, there's a couple of brand new Cokes back there. Ice cold bottles. Go and grab your friends some, huh? No problem. How about you? You like jerky? <laughs> Go and check the back left of the stove. We got plenty back there. Barbecue. Smoked, teriyaki, black pepper, whatever your heart desires. Go and give them a look. And you, looking for some gas, huh? Okay. That's a big van out there. How many gallons is that? Cokes, bag of jerky, and a full tank. It's gonna be 625. Mm -hmm. What kind of family business you headed out to, huh? Where's this operation taking place? <laughs> what kind of trouble y'all into, huh? <laughs> you playing a joke on me. <laughs> there ain't no business going on at the Sora house. And they never will be. You're a Sawyer, huh? Inheriting a couple of uh, properties. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sawyers are something of legends around this town. And you best know about the old slaughterhouse down the road, don't you? Oh, Sawyers, they're known for their world-famous barbecue. You know, we sell it here at the station. No, 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 it's no trouble. It's no trouble. I can fire up the grill. Get a couple short ribs on a plate for you. Take it for the ride home. Oh, I see. You city slickers think that you uh, ain't got enough time for us over here, us country folk out here, huh? Is that what it is? <laughs> no doubt you got all the time in the world when you're traveling on a road this hot. Sit down. Relax. It's gonna take my man Buddy a while to fill up your tank. Gas is running a bit empty nowadays. Seeing as we don't get many visitors. Right. Why well, don't? I fix you up a plate. You take your time. I have my man Buddy. Give you a give your van a little wash, huh? Ain't gonna take that long. Just uh 
want to make sure y'all feel at home, especially seeing as you're a Sawyer. <laughs> well, uh, it's going to take them a while out there. Best be getting comfortable, huh? So. How much do you know about the Sawyers, huh? Know much about your family history? You ever hear about Jed? That poor, poor boy. Lives up there at the Sawyer house. Didn't think they'd be telling you that when inheriting property. Who would want to inherit property after a freak like him, huh? He's born with a skin condition. Made him different. Made him the black sheep of the town. Laughing stock. Someone not much of the other kids wanted to pay no mind to. You see, up there, Jed had to be homeschooled. Vernon never really wanted him to go out. Guess feeling hurt too much, huh? She didn't raise him with the light thick skin. Somewhat of a big baby now, huh? There's been rumors. Of the different things that have been going on in that house. Time after time. People come and go. Reports. Of murders. And crimes happening over there. Something that most people <laughs> don't have the stomach for. I want you to know what kind of business you're getting into here. <laughs> you're not inheriting no house from a happy-go-lucky TV family. You're inheriting a house. A whole bunch of cannibalistic maniacs. Freaks. Now how about I do you a favor? I'll buy the place off of you. Huh? Take it off your hands. Give you a nice fat check. Stack of cash. <laughs> Gold coins, whatever you need. You take that van, you make a U-turn, go back to where you came from, knowing that you're richer. Not only in the wonderful experience of meeting someone like yours truly, but going home with a nice wad of cash in your pocket. Come on, what do you mean it don't interest you? Everybody has a prize, no? See? You're not going to be prepared for what you're going to see at that house. We warned the kids to stay away from that part of town for a reason. I can tell you all still have your minds filled with butterflies and rainbows. Thinking about how precious your lives are, you're still young, beautiful. Got a whole future ahead of you. And why would you want to throw that away for an old dust bucket like the home back there, huh? Soy residence ain't nothing but couple of spare pieces of wood and bolts. 
rusty nails, rotten carcasses, bones. <laughs> Hell, they got a swimming hole, but it's filled with more possums in my backyard. So I'll ask you again. <laughs> Name your price. Be more than happy to take it off your hands. All right, I'll stop budging. How about that barbecue? Fresh meat? Down straight at that slaughterhouse, we pick it up weekly. Oh yeah, they do good work there. Taking care of everybody's needs, giving them food to eat, because you know we gotta eat. There ain't nothing more juicy and delicious than buying that meat right off that bone. Some of my world famous barbecue sauce. Huh? Sounds good. I just had Buddy here put up this fresh plate for me. How about we take a look at what we got here, huh? Yeah. Set you up with a nice uh, red plate. A couple of baked beans. And even some bread, huh? Yeah. You ain't gotta worry about paying a dime for this. It's on the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sawyers practically built this town off that slaughterhouse. Best I can do is feed one myself. Now where'd you look at that? That don't look like the freshest set. Short ribs. I don't know what is. Here. Let me show you something here. We got ourselves some authentic fresh meat. Killed weekly. Daily even if we have the demand. This one right here I'll uh, sample for y'all. Show you how fresh this can be. This one we picked up this morning. Let's see. Mm. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> What's wrong, darling? You ain't never seen no meat. Hmm? Never seen meat fresh like this, huh? You city folk are too busy with your process this and process that. Eating wood chips for dinner. This right here is fresh. I used to work at the slaughterhouse way back when with the soil. They, uh, Introduced a new way of slaughtering all that cattle. It's a gun. An air gun. It's quick. Helps those animals go in peace, you know? <laughs> As if we care how they feel before we feast upon their flesh. Gun shoots. A little bit of air through their skull right into their brain, pulverizing it. Instant death. You, uh... You wouldn't know any better if you're just a stupid animal. Locked up. Just waiting to die. Here. We used to do it the good way. 
Oh yeah, the more efficient way. With the sledge. We take that sledgehammer, bring it right over our head, and bam. Whack, whack, whack. Sometimes that thing's still twitching after three hits. You gotta give it a fourth, a fifth, or even a sixth. Just for fun. <laughs> then we use every part of them. Don't let them go to waste, you know? Out here, we don't got no fancy shipments and imports coming in. We make our own. So, we use the head. Mm. Makes a delicious head cheese. We never had head cheese. My brother makes a real good head cheese. Y'all won't come over for dinner tonight, huh? See if we can serve you up a plate. <laughs> I get it. I understand. You're in a rush to get back to that family business. You got your baked beans here, okay? No funny business. Ah, some good old beans. And of course, Some of that delicious baked bread. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Don't forget, get yourself some of my world famous barbecue sauce. Sweet baby Ray's. First place every year at the barbecue sauce contest. <laughs> So, uh, don't let me stop you. Go on down. Chase all those skeletons that you've been looking for over there at the Sawyer residence. <laughs> you don't even know how to get there, do you? Let me help you out. Go on down, straight down where you're going, okay? Might see an armadillo in the road, you can just drive right past it. But, uh, you might see one of my buddies on the road, he was just on his way back from the slaughterhouse. He, uh, may know who you are. So why don't you go tell him that I sent you. Pick him up. I'm gonna ride back to his place. His place is right next to the Sawyer residence. It's on the way, actually. He'll be able to help you out. If not, tough. But don't blame me if you go around chasing ghosts and don't find one. <laughs> we ain't seen Jed in a while. It's been gone. It's been, uh, a lot of reports out there. Grizzly murders. Crazy butcherings of people's bodies. Yeah. It's a shame. But you never know what's going to happen to some good people out there. Because you know what they say. Bad things happen to good people. <laughs> well... Looks like Buddy's uh, almost done with your car there, and I don't want to keep spooking you with these stories. Oh, sweet cheeks, you'll be fine. Best be hoping that's a, that it's out of gas. <laughs> no, not your car. There's one thing I forgot to mention. All those grisly killings, those butcherings, they were... One thing in common with all of them. Mm-hmm. In every single report, the bodies, bones, 
and different inflictions done upon them that were reported were brought upon by none other than the chainsaw. People say it's Jedediah Sawyer coming back to exact his revenge. Reports of a crazed lunatic wearing the faces of every single one of his victims. People say his disease gets worse and worse every day. But to me, I wouldn't worry about what's on the outside of him. I'd worry about what's on the inside. Because only a true maniac can be a cannibalistic killer. I got you. I got you, then. I'm sure you'll love meeting Jed. He's a sweet boy. Never deserved to be made fun of. When I tell you, the second you hear that chain start going, you better run for the hills and never look back. Car's all done. You best be heading out. I'm gonna take it barbecue. Don't forget to see my buddy on your way home. He'll take you to where you need to be. Little known fact if you want to look it up when you get back home and check those papers. All these killings. All of these reports of crimes and kids going missing, they're all reported under something we like to call the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Y'all be safe out there. You keep an eye for Jed for me. I'll see you soon. Darling, if we got your coke. <laughs> Buddy, come here. I want you to go down to the soil place. Let the cook know I got some fresh meat on the way.